everybody. My name is Chris Williams from Wilmot Knives and Wilmot Grinders. Um, I want to introduce you to a plunge attachment, which is a new attachment that will allow you to do um, a plunge with a small wheel attachment. We're going to show you exactly how it works in a few minutes. I'm going to grind, flat grind this poorly, um, and then we're going to clean it up on the plunge attachment. And we're going to push the plunges and make sure they're even. I'm going to make them uneven on purpose, and I'm going to put a big, deep two inch grind line, and I'm going to grind it all out and make a beautiful knife using this new attachment. Follow along. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, flat grind this real fast and uh, here we go. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my plunge, which I really want to be back here, I'm going to make sure it's a little farther forward than it than I would really want it. I'm going to make it about 3 sixteenths of an inch further forward. So there's my 2 inch grind line. Hopefully I can, I can get that out. So now let's go and go to the plunge attachment. The plunges um, are actually fairly even but I need to back them all the way up to this cutout. But let's go and move to the plunge attachment and I will um, show you how it works. Take the plunge attachment Oops, okay, we'll put it all the way in. You kind of need this, so let's put it back in there. There we go, it just drops right in. Um, and then what we do is we're going to tension the belt so that the belt is touching the back of the jig. And it's touching the back of the jig. You guys see that? That's important. If it's in too far, that's not good. We don't want that. We want this belt to be riding the back, uh, the sled. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this push. And there we go. Nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this by hand, okay, to make sure this belt isn't going to want to move too far to the right or left. Seems to be okay. I'm going to turn this speed all the way down. We're going to turn it on. That looks good. Now we'll get the knife. And let's go ahead. I'm going to make sure when I'm grinding, guys, what's happening is we're going to get a beautiful convex. We're going to get just a beautiful plunge, a real sweeping plunge, not this crisp thing that I've got now. It's going to be a real nice slow rolling because it's going to be created by this small wheel. But it's important when I'm grinding that I'm pushing flat here that so it's going to translate into it being flat here. You don't want this to rock too far this way or this way or you'll take this up too high. It's really important that you're pushing down really hard. And then I push in. Here we go. You guys can see we're starting to clean it up and it's starting to create the new plunge. There we go. So the short leaf. And it's getting hot. Alright. We just gotta move it back quite a bit. There we go, starting to look nice. We gotta move back a little bit more. We're starting to get all the scratches. Going in the right direction. It's a nice plunge right already. It's gotta move further back. I could have put the an original plunge I did a little further to the rear. I had it about 3 16 forward. It probably should have been a little further to the rear. But let's go ahead and I'm going to move to the other side. Okay. And you can see it's starting to take the two inch grind line out. Not perfect yet, but. As you can see, it's starting to try to take the two inch grind line out. It's still got a little ways to go. It's taking all my scratches out that were going this way, and it's uh, making them go this way. So I've almost got all the scratches out. And of course, I still need to push my plunge further to the rear on both sides.
This is how the plunge attachment works. The last thing I haven't done yet is I haven't taken the scratches all the way to the tip. That part's a little tricky because I'm actually going to physically have to rock the knife. And you have to make sure when you do it, it stays on its flat. Or you could hand sand it. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do um, rock the knife. And I'm going to have to put pressure right here and then just try to rock it on the flat part. It's a tricky, like I said. And you have to make sure you don't put go too heavy on the tip or you'll actually bury this into the belt and you can then project it at you, be projected at you. As you can see, I've got the plunges almost even, and if I found one were further forward, I could push it to the rear. So let's go ahead and try to make these scratches go away. There we are. We did it. We'll do the same on the other side. So as you can see, slowly I'm walking all my scratches up. It's tricky, doing this part's really tricky, and it takes a little bit of practice. So we just got right here to get. I think you guys got the um, got the idea. You guys can see my plunges pretty much match. They're pretty much the same on both sides. And if I found one, and what's really neat about this jig is you're going to get this nice rolling plunge because it's created by a round surface. So it's going to be a perfect round. And it's going to match the radius in this plunge. Is going to match the same on both sides. Um, and that is the plunge attachment. Uh, the next step is to use a trizac belt and go to a higher grit. This is just a practice blank made out of mild steel, so I'm not going to bother. But the next step would be to use a 220 grit trizac belt. Um, you just have to be real careful when you rock the tip because uh, you can and will bury it when the splice comes around if you're not careful. It takes a lot of practice. The last step I do is I put a scotch brite on and I'll run this belt backwards by putting a reverse switch on my VFD and then I can get a perfect finish. Um, and um, that is pretty much the plunge attachment. That is how it works, that is what it does, and uh, thank you so much for coming by and seeing how I use this uh, attachment. Uh, I really think it can help both the experienced and the veteran uh, make a better knife. Thank you.